Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Guess what? It's May. I want things, which means it's time for the May beauty wish list. Let's get into it. Number one, ColourPop's coming for my wig. Somebody at Colorful Pop Cosmetics knows that my number one weakness in cosmetics is lip gloss. I love that sticky goodness. And they are expanding the ultra glossy lip range, putting out a whole bunch of colors that I would not mind putting on my levers, okay? French for lips. Keep up. We're very multicultural on this channel. I love them. I'm looking at them right now. My self-control with ColourPop is debatable. The likelihood of me never picking up one of these glosses just based on the fact that I don't need any more lip glosses is a uh, not very strong. I'm probably going to get one at some point. The next thing I want is a bit different for me. Dare I say a bit naughty, a bit forbidden, a bit controversial. Yes, for the first time in my life, I truly want a palette from Morphe. I was doing some deep diving on Morphe's website the other day just because, and I found something I've never heard anybody talk about called the 12Z Zodiac Smoky Palette. I think it's really cool. It's all these like muted smoky tones that I don't have in my collection and it's $12. I've really been thinking about this in a serious like credit card way, you know? Next up, a little bit of skincare for you. I'm really interested in trying the Ulla Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. One, because it's about to get hot as the blue blazes in Boston and I would like a little mask that's designed to cool me down. Two, it's a pore diminishing mask. And I've been very interested in using skincare as opposed to makeup to combat the appearance of my pores. And also it's a pleasant blue color. And that's very attractive to me because I'm a Pisces. I've actually seen like legit results from some of my Ulla Henriksen products that I've tried samples of. So I'm like really uh, thinking about this. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. It's not a committed relationship yet. It's a mutual infatuation. You know, I haven't asked the cold plunge pore mask how it feels about me, but I feel like there's chemistry between us. Since skin cares look chemically reacts to your face. Okay. The goblin is awake. She sensed these new highlighter colors like a shark senses blood from a nautical mile away. So here I am just innocently scrolling through Instagram. I see these new Fenty Kilowatt duos. Erstwhile, the goblin is like clawing her way in my stomach, poking her long unkempt fingernails on my epiglottis saying, my lighters, we don't have enough of those. We only have 12. Bye. I might get one of these. I'm mostly interested in the one that I think everyone is the most interested in, which is the orange and magenta purple duo. It's very pretty. It reminds me a lot of two of Wet n Wild's new blushes they came out with, Hummingbird Hype and Dare to Soar. But I've seen those blushes in person and Hummingbird Hype is nowhere near as vibrant of an orange as this from Fenty. The heart wants what it wants, and sometimes it wants things without want for what the wallet wants. Uh, this is a personal call out to Lacey of Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. Here I was innocently minding my own business. I go to check the Instagram of my friend, and here she is posting about this Makeup Monsters cosmetics palette, and now I want it. It's pretty, and I love the colors, and I'm gonna fight you, Lacey, for bringing this into my life. <laughs> the only thing is that the yellow is not a matte yellow. It's got some sparkle in it, and that actually might prevent me from buying it. I might talk myself out of it right now. I'm really attracted to the light blue and the light purple sort of in the middle of this arm swatch, and they remind me a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows Daddy and Taco, which I already own. I also have a yellow with sparkle throughout. It's Heat from ColourPop. This is Heat from ColourPop, this is Taco, and this is Daddy. I have versions of colors from this palette that I'm attracted to already, so I feel like it's not a super necessary purchase. But my God, Lacey, stop doing this to me. Stop posting amazing palettes and making me want them. I am just a person. Go subscribe to Lacey. Um, she's a wonderful goth cupcake and she's my favorite. So be nice to my friend. Thank you. Next up, I really feel like I'm a high school principal in this outfit and I'm okay with it. We've got two more and then I'll let you get back to your regularly scheduled lives. The first one is complicated because it's something that I want but I also know for a fact with no waffling whatsoever that I am not buying it or any of it's similar things. 
Uh, so I guess this is sort of like an anti-haul tidbit within this wish list video. Dose of Colors has recently come out with a line of single eyeshadows, and they are absolutely beautiful. That sparkly red is just so like crazy sexy cool. The blue, the blue browns, the like olivey greens, so beautiful. I love every single one of these colors. These shadows are $20 each, okay? Sounds cool. 20 American dollars. I think that's absurd. And I know Dose of Colors does not have the brand awareness to pull this off among consumers. They cannot get away with it. You know how I know that? You know how I know that's a factoid? Because Urban Decay, an elder statesman of the high-end brands, been around since I was a literal, legal, and mental child, their single shadows are also $20. And I, who have been on YouTube for years, have never heard anyone talk about them. If Urban Decay can't get away with charging $20 for a single eyeshadow, Dose of Colors sure as H-E double hockey sticks can't either. For me, this is like having a crush on someone who is clearly out of my league, so everyone I've ever had a crush on. Um, I'm like, you're beautiful, you're so hot, but like, I'm not even gonna try. Last up, Too Faced is a brand that you've heard me anti-haul at least once, twice, three times a lady. And most of the time my feelings on Too Faced are either actively negative or neutral. This time, it's different. Because Too Faced is about to turn 20 years old. Its founder, Jared Blondino, is planning on doing a 20th anniversary collection for which the packaging is vintage Too Faced. Dude. <laughs> Like there's a little bit of like Mac Heatherette in there. Dude, oh my God, I love this. <laughs> as far as I know now, the only things that are part of this collection are this hot pink sparkly lipstick and this eyeshadow palette that sort of compares newer Too Faced color families to the older ones they put out when they first started, which is a really cool idea for a palette. Putting aside packaging, that is a smart idea. This lipstick, while being extremely late 90s, like fun makeup, it's not my shade, it's not my consistency. I don't wear hot pinks and I don't wear metallics. But my God, I really hope there's more to this because I want something with this packaging. I am not a major like buying makeup or packaging person. What sucks me in more often, in all honesty, is shade names and product names, but oh my God, this is what I want. This is so cool. It's so interesting to talk about brands um, going back to their roots. It reminds me of another brand uh, by, the, by the name of Urban Decay. Wouldn't it be so wacky and funny if Urban Decay started like re-releasing products from their earlier years? And what if it was like a powder, like a, like a body powder, that'd be fun, you know, Fenty body lava, it's in, it's the topic of conversation right now. Oh my God, what if they smelled like fun things like cake or s'mores or cocoa or marshmallows and oh my God, this is so wild. What if they were edible? Not, no, not edible, because then people are gonna like eat it with spoons. Let's say lickable. We'll call it, I don't know, like the, Urban Decay, lickable body powders. Wouldn't that be fun if they released a product like that? Very quick rundown of things from April's Beauty Wishlist video. I've still heard nothing about NYX's Machinist collection other than that very first picture that I used last month. So who knows, kind of over it. I still haven't bought anything from Mented Cosmetics and honestly, I think that's just like, because I want several things at once, it'd be a very expensive purchase. So I'm waiting until I'm a little bit more minted to buy something from Minted. Nabla Cosmetics Soul Blooming Palette, I have firmly anti hauled I am not going to buy it. And that is final. Mostly because of the purchasing of Taco and Daddy from ColourPop, these two shades mixed together create the periwinkle shade Flowery from the Nabla palette that I was like losing my mind over. So it's really not that necessary right now. Oh. <laughs> the Cleona Cosmetics Paleo palette. Very expensive, very pretty. I bought it. I did buy it, yes I did. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> 
So that was the May Beauty Wishlist video. I hope you enjoyed your flight with us today on Delta Airlines. And I can't use that if I don't keep in that opening joke, so let's think of another outro. Before you leave, I'm going to need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would fulfill all my wishes. And if it's not too much of an inconvenience, please consider scram scribbing to my channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye. <laughs>